Hello Earthlings and welcome back to another episode of Why the Hell Do I Live on This Planet. My name is Ash and you are watching Asheville. Ladies and gentlemen, the date now is September 4th, and that would be, give or take, 16 days till the alleged Area 51 rating. And today, I thought we'd go over a little bit of uh, why rating Area 51 isn't going to work. So let's hear a little bit of the backstory on this whole thing, shall we? This year, posted July 11th, was an ad that was basically campaigning that on the arrival of September 20th, that uh, a large group of people is supposed to all get together and raid one of the most heavily guarded military bases in the country, if not the world. And I'm basically here to cover why that's a bad idea. Not too long ago, the post was admitted to have been posted by basically some guy who was living down in his mom's basement who thought it would just be, you know, something funny to put up. And in an interview, uh, he quote unquote had no idea it was going to gather such a following. But um, apparently the following grew to just about over two million people, which blows my mind that there are two million people that support the idea of Naruto running and uh, storming one of the nation's most heavily guarded military bases that uh, no one has actually managed to infiltrate at all in the last 60 years since it was originally put there. So that's a little bit of the backstory on that whole issue. Had to put a pop filter on here. Uh, all, the, all the P's and K's and S's were getting through a little too harshly. So basically we're talking about all the reasons that that's a bad idea, or basically all the reasons I could come up with. Uh, coming up with reasons this was a bad idea was not exactly hard, but uh, we kind of already talked about one of them, and reason one is it's one of the nation's most heavily guarded military bases, and no one has managed to infiltrate this military base for the last 60 years since it was established there. And uh, I feel like even... Their catchphrase is, you know, they can't stop all of us. Um, I beg to differ on that. I definitely, I know they can. It would be difficult for them, but considering that also that you literally gave away your plan of attack, I feel like they're probably going to be fairly prepared for any of you, you know, stormers trying to go see them aliens, but that's just me. And even if they weren't prepared for this uh, September 20th attack, this this military base is still patrolled 24 hours a day with by military officers uh, authorized to use deadly force if uh, they have to. And so I felt like that's reason enough to believe that it's going to be a little bit more difficult than just walking up and knocking on the door. But once again, that's just me. Let's talk about the logistics on this just a little bit. Uh, okay, so... From my research, I've been able to deduct that the plan is everyone who's planning on storming Area 51, we're all supposed to meet at a nice little place called the Area 51 Center in Nevada. All right. In case you hadn't heard, this Area 51 Center, and in case it wasn't obvious, is not actually Area 51. Area 51 Center is a gas station slash alien themed brothel, people. All right, I realize it's alien themed, but I feel like you can find much better places to meet. Also, uh, ones that's a little bit closer because it's a good two hours driving highway to, uh, to the actual start of where you have to start driving dirt roads to get to Area 51. And after a nice long discussion about my favorite kind of alien themed dildos and flying saucers themed tingler rings and also getting some nice... Uh, and some nice quality $4 a gallon Nevada gas. We can all get down to business and talk about exactly how we're going to storm this uh, heavily, heavily guarded military base. So just to get some grounds on the location, Area 51 is located approximately 83 miles northwest of uh, Las Vegas. And the only way to get that far is uh, 
basically under normal circumstances a two hour drive down a one lane highway. I repeat, a one lane highway. All right, two million people are all gonna get together and drive two hours down a one lane highway to get started. I don't think so. Have you, have you seen Las Vegas? It's big. The population of Las Vegas is 2.2 million people. All right, there are not enough trains, taxis, planes, buses, or just regular people's cars. There's not enough room for 2 million people to all make it to Las Vegas so they can travel the two hour drive down a one lane highway. Okay, it's not gonna happen. Do you know how much it would cripple the entire city if the entire population of Las Vegas just doubled itself? Assuming this was even possible. The effects would be so detriment, the city would just basically freeze up. No one would be getting anywhere unless you're walking. And that's not even counting the 25 miles of dirt road you're gonna have to go down just to actually get as close as you are legally allowed to be to Area 51. That's just the road there. So once you finally each reach the end of this dirt road, then it's basically a two mile hike through the desert, all right? The desert in Nevada is unforgiving. This is two million people we're talking about. Now, I know not all two million people are gonna show up, but there's still gonna be an absolute huge amount of people showing up to this assuming any of this all goes down to plan, so the point still stands. that This is a lot of people hiking two miles without food, without water, and if we're to supply these people with food and water, do you know how much more resources that's gonna take for, we'll call, still call it two million people? That's not gonna happen. And we haven't even gotten to the hard stuff, that's just getting there. And now we're getting to the fun stuff basically where the military actually the military base has to actually protect itself so let's say you've made it this far let's say that everybody managed to hop a bus get to vegas travel the 83 miles that it takes to get to area 51 down one lane dirt roads and every other thing let's say everyone has made the two mile hike through unforgiving desert with 110 degree temperatures let's say we've made it this far now the hell what well, I, I guess everybody's just gonna run up to the base and go grab them an alien now. I don't think so. No, no, that ain't gonna happen. Do people not realize this? I do not understand this. All right, the only thing the government will admit to Area 51 being is a weapons testing lab. It's where they test weapons. The entire perimeter is patrolled 24 hours by officers authorized to use deadly force for a reason. You mean you're gonna basically invade a weapons lab? Throwing rocks and Naruto running up to the freaking perimeter? This is a thing that's actually going on in the world right now? Dude, no. They've got every kind of weapon in the book. You're getting mowed down by ray guns and every other thing. They're gonna be shooting spikes from space down on your ass if you're trying to get into a freaking military base unauthorized. Not to mention all the people who won't be killed by some form of alien weaponry. The amount of charges they're gonna have to face just outside of trespassing. They're gonna get fines. They're getting jail time for conspiracy, terroristic threatening. Every other kind of thing that you can imagine, that's what they're getting. Assuming they live, if they live, infiltrating one of the government's most highly guarded military bases that there actually is. There's a reason it's out in the middle of the desert, people. They don't want people there. That's why it's there. So basically, people, the message I'm trying to send is raiding Area 51 is a bad idea. I don't know how many people are actually serious about it. Like I said, it's just that guy you know, sitting in his mom's basement who's just like, hey, we're gonna go raid Area 51, it's gonna be cool. But, and then it just took off, it snowballed from there, but I, it seems to be being taken way more seriously than if obviously it's being taken seriously because the Air Force had to issue a warning saying that any threat to their military assets, they will not be afraid to protect. 
you know, that says a lot. That's the Air Force telling you, hey, don't mess with our stuff or we're going to blow your ass up. All right, that's what they're talking about. That's what they mean. That doesn't mean that they're just going to let you come in and see everything. Like, oh, okay, no, don't tell anybody what you saw. Okay, they're going to shoot you. Just don't raid Area 51, people. That's a terrible idea. I don't care if it's, you know, if you want to like it, you know, it's a big trend going on now. If you want to wear your Area 51 t-shirts or whatever, you want to go out and get some alien-themed adult merchandise, go for it. Whatever. Just don't actually raid a military base where they've got every kind of weapon in the book to basically shoot you down and protect their military assets from a bunch of Naruto runners, all right? Which, if you really stop and think about it, I can't believe it's gotten carried this far, where the Air Force literally had to issue in a warning to these people. I'll start it off with some guy just on a computer, like, hey, I'm dicking around, I'm just gonna put something on the internet right now, it's gonna be funny. And then two million followers later, the Air Force is issuing a warning saying, don't invade us, we'll kill you. This just blows my mind that this is the time we're living in, folks. This is things that are actually going on. Bruh, I can't even, I can't even begin to fathom what is becoming of just basic existence anymore. Guys, thanks for watching the video. This is just how I feel on how you should probably avoid the whole experience of uh, invading Area 51. Let me know what you guys think in the comments of the actual Area 51 invasion, if you think it's a good idea, if you think it's a bad idea. Obviously, I think you pretty well know my stance on the whole thing. Uh, probably not the best idea in my book, but I'm open to more input. I did the best research I could, and it just seems like it's a terrible idea all the way around. But that's just me. You never know. Let me know how you guys feel. If you're new to the channel as well and you want to see more content such as this, then please, I beg of you, go ahead and throw me a subscribe. I'm still also just starting out here. And if you think that freaking invading Area 51 is a bad idea, then thumbs up this video. And if you think it's a bad idea, thumbs down it. I don't care. Whatever. I just want to know how people really feel about this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I am Ash. This has been Ashville, and I'll see you guys in the next video.